Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm sharing a two page spread in my large red smash book and I'm scrapbooking my son's graduation. So I'm going to use the notebook lined paper that is in the front. So it's perfect for a two page spread. And here I'm just showing you I have several photos, some that will be on my main page and then others will be hidden behind the page. And I'm using some papers from Simple Stories Grad collection along with a few elements as well. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I need a little envelope or something to house my extra photos in. So I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, which I absolutely love. I use it all the time. And I'm quickly making an envelope with some Nina white cardstock that will hold these three by five photos. So I'm using my Teflon bone folder. I'm creasing that down and then I'm gonna use some fabric tack to adhere it down. And then I'll set that aside because I don't wanna set my pictures in it while there might still be a little bit of wet glue. So the next thing I'm doing is using my ATG and adhering a white cardstock border to all my photos. One of them already had the cardstock border. And on this large photo, I'm adhering it towards the top to give it a Polaroid style type frame. I wanted a little extra white on the bottom. So here I'm using a piece of the paper and an EK Success notebook edge punch. I again thought that would go great keeping in the school theme of things. So I'm going to punch the bottom of that and then adhere that to my main piece of paper. That piece of paper already had a white matting on it and I didn't bother removing it because my photo will be covering it anyways. So I just cut off the excess that was hanging over and I'm adding a little bit of scotch tape because I plan on sliding that envelope in and out from the back of it so I didn't want that catching on the paper. Here I'm adding a strip of the star paper but I wanted it to stand out a little bit more so I'm adding a white border, a white cardstock border. Again using my ATG I'm just going to adhere that where the two pieces of papers meet together just to give it a little bit of a separation. Again, cutting off the excess. Again, I'm not worried about that white mat because I'll be covering that up. Here's where I'm just checking where I'm going to be putting my uh, photos. And I have six photos in there, so I need to lift the paper off slightly. That way it will will allow for space of my envelopes. and it look. My camera cut off there, but I simply use some lightweight chipboard. It's cereal box weight chipboard. And I added two layers and added them on top of each other and gave myself a border. I'll show you more on the other page because I do the same thing. But I gave myself a border of where the envelope will slide in and out. And then I adhered it down with my Fabri-Tac glue again. And it's perfectly houses my little envelope, which I added a label punch to the end of it. So here I'm adhering down a banner strip. And this one says, this is your big day, adding that to the bottom of my photo. And now I'll adhere that down to my page. I'm also tucking a journaling card that says dream big on the on the back before I adhere it down. I'm using a little sticker. It had a foam piece behind it that I pulled off. I didn't want that much dimension since my page already has a little bit of dimension by adding that chipboard behind it. And now I'm using this circular punch. It says Big Dreams. This is also from the Simple Stories Grad collection. And then adding three different stars to the page. On the right side, I'm doing the same thing. I wanted the book where it has the uh, commencement with all the names in it. I wanted to save that as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. So this is how I did it with my, my envelope. Except on this side, I only needed two layers. On the other side, I'm not sure if I mentioned that I used three. I might, may have said two. However, I meant that I used three. This one wasn't as bulky. So I'm just simply adding a border around the booklet of two layers and then it will slide in and out perfectly and again on this side I added a label to the top as well and the label it may be hard to see 
in the video, but it has little caps on the paper. It's really cute. So again, I'll use my Fabri-Tac, add that to the top and tuck that in behind. And that way it's easily, you can access it easily. So here's some strips of paper that I'm just going to add to the top and bottom. I didn't want to add it to the full piece behind it because it's just a waste of paper. So I'm using my ATG and then I'll use my T-square ruler to make sure that I'm getting that adhered on straight. So it looks like one continuous long piece behind it. And now I'm going to add some ATG. I will also adhere it down with some Fabri-Tac, but I wanted to add another piece of scrap that I had behind it. It's the same matching scrap paper that I have from the other side. So I'm just going to kind of place that all down to see exactly where I want it, use my ATG, and then adhere that down. Once that's adhered down, I can go ahead and adhere my main piece down to it. So I'm just kind of holding it in place to see where I want it before I adhere the top piece. Again, adding some tape because I'll be sliding that booklet in and out. And then I'm not adhering or adding any glue to the center where that book's going to be sliding in and out. So just to the edges, place that down. And now it holds that little booklet perfectly. So here are my two other photos. I'm adding my ATG and overlapping them slightly. And then I'm adding a little tiny, I think it's a one and a half by two and a half journaling card and a little banner flag and then another label strip. And then to finish the page off, I added a few of the Nouveau jewel drops in, or excuse me, the crystal drops in both black and the yellow, which keeps uh, the color theme going. So I hope you've enjoyed today's process. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I will have some detailed photos coming up shortly. Thanks so much for stopping by.